Okay, so in this example, this is a classic interception question. We have a red object that passes a yellow object with a speed of uh, 10 meters per second. Okay, so that's the speed here. Should have said speed. At that instant, the yellow object takes off at a constant acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. How long until the yellow object catches the red one? So the red one is basically here, and it has a V, just a constant speed of 10 meters per second like this. And it's going. This one starts with a V initial of 0. This one's just at rest. So this one's zooming by, okay? And what's going to happen is over time, this little red box here is going to start moving like this. And then this one's going to start to move after it, right? It's going to start to move slowly and it's going to accelerate. And then at some point in the future, this yellow one is going to catch it, right? It's going to catch it sometime in the future. So um, we want to find out when that happens. So I'm going to clone that and come back here just to show this, and then I'm going to clone this one and come back here, because that one always has 10 meters per second, right? But this one had a V initial of zero, okay? And we don't know what the V final is here, so I'll just put that as VF. I just want to know how long it takes for them to catch. At some point, this yellow one is going to catch it, okay? So this can also be compared to like race car drivers. Like a race, one. this is the one that's in the pit, this one passes it, and then this accelerates out of the pit and eventually it catches up, right? Or could catch up. So if we take a look at the red, we know, we know we want to know when do they catch each other. So what's going to be the same? The position is going to be the same. So the red one here, we're just going to write it. So x equals xo plus vt. In other words, there's no acceleration. I mean, I could write the whole thing out. Uh, you know, x equals x initial plus v initial t plus one half at squared, right? But there's no acceleration on this, so it's just this term. That's the position function for this one this time. And then the yellow one down here, hopefully we can see the yellow. No, we can't see the yellow, so let's go with a different color. Let's go with like an ooh, something like that. This one you can see it. Okay, so this position is going to be the same thing x equals xo plus v zero t plus one half at squared. This one is going to have an acceleration. So it is important. Uh, the time's going to come into play here. But this one also did have a, um, this one had a V initial of zero. Okay, so it's a little bit different. So this X here is going to be XO plus one half AT squared. And if we assume that they both started at an XO here of zero, then we're good. We don't need to worry about uh, one of them had a 10 meter head start, the other one didn't. So really what I'm looking at now is I'm looking at these two equations I want to know when do these two positions when is this position equal this position when are they going to be the same and so what I do is I set those two equations equal so I'll call that equation one I'll call that equation two down here it's hard to read I know in that in that yellow um, so let's just let's just set them equal so again equation one equals equation two hard to read here, but okay, there's equation two. Uh, so, equation one basically said, I'm going to go to black now, XO equals XO plus V zero T, okay, and uh, the second one is going to be XO plus one half AT squared, and we knew that that XO, they both started at zero, so those terms actually, those terms actually go away. So I'm going to have V zero T equals one half AT squared, now, if I solve for the t, if I bring this over and I say, okay, one half a t squared minus v zero t of the first one equals zero. Basically, what I have here, I can factor out a t, so I get t equals a t over two minus v o. So I'm going to get two answers. It's going to split, right? Why is it going to split? Why do I get two t's here? Well, the first one the t is zero, when's the first time they have the same position? When this one passes it, they're equal right here. And then sometime it's going to pass it again, they're going to be equal the second time. So that's why at t is zero, they're actually to get together um, until the yellow one catches it. But this is the one that we really care about here. So if I went ahead and solved for that, I would say at over two uh, equals vo of the, of the red one. And I would say at equals two vo and then t is going to be 2vo over a, okay? So again, my time here is just going to be 2 times the v initial of this one, which is 10, right? 
and then the acceleration of this one is just going to be 3 so I'm going to have 20 over 3 seconds that's when they will actually uh, have the same pos position again that's when the, the the yellow one will catch it again in the future that's that's when it actually will intersect it right at about seven seconds a little bit less than seven seconds